Working as a morning barista in a coffee shop is not an easy job. It's not as simple as going to the coffee machine and making a cup of coffee. Especially if you're a beginner barista or if you're a barista and you've never worked morning shift. This is because as a morning barista, you're the one to start and set up most of the coffee equipment in the coffee shop so that they operate throughout the day. In this video, I'll learn to take you through my morning routine as a morning barista. I'll be sharing with you also the main duties that you need to do as a morning barista so that you can have a successful morning shift. Good morning, welcome to my channel, I'm the Rode Barista. This channel is all about sharing coffee knowledge so that you can make a perfect cup of coffee. Today I will be talking about the morning routine as a morning barista. These are the simple duties that you need to do as a morning barista immediately you arrive at your coffee shop in the morning. First thing as a morning barista you need to turn on your coffee machine. Most of the coffee shops switch off their coffee machines overnight so that they can minimize the power consumption in the coffee shop. So, as a morning barista, your first and main key thing you need to do is to turn on your coffee machine every morning. Turn it fully on. You will let the machine boil the water in the tank so that it can reach the desired temperature to brew your cup of coffee. Then next, we will switch on our coffee grinders. Then we will refill our coffee bean upper with coffee beans. We're filling up our coffee grinders with beans will help us have a successful morning shift so that you don't run out of beans in case you're in a busy shift. So after filling up our coffee grinders, we are going to clean up our pot filters. If your pot filters were soaked in chemicals overnight, you'll need to clean them in soap and also rinse them with clean water so that you can remove the chemical solution in the pot filter so that they may be safe for brewing coffee. After cleaning up our pot filters and ensuring they are clean, we just put back our baskets. We will fix back our shower springs in our group heads. We soak our shower springs together with our pot filters. We do this on a weekly basis in our coffee shop. So the remaining days, if we don't soak our pot filters in the chemical solution, we are just going to clean our pot filters, remove the coffee basket, wash it and keep it on the side so that in the morning, the morning barista just fixes it in and starts brewing coffee. So after fixing our shower screens and making our water filters ready, we we'll check the temperature for our coffee machine if it's ready to brew some coffee. But take note, if your pot filters were soaked in a chemical solution overnight, after cleaning them, you need to extract one shot of espresso per each pot filter this will help to remove the remaining chemicals and also to warm up our pot filter this is a sacrificial shot so you don't use it you are going to throw it it's used to remove only the chemicals from the pot filters and also to warm up our pot filter so that we can then in our espressos with the right temperatures of our pot filters. If your pot filters were not soaked overnight in a chemical solution, then you will need to just fix them in your cook head. Just let it run for like 10 seconds, then it will all be set. The pot filters will have acquired the right temperatures so that you can have a consistency when you're brewing your cup of coffee. If you use a cold pot filter to brew an espresso when you're dining in your espresso, you won't have the perfect taste of the espresso because you will have lost the temperatures when you're brewing your pot espresso. And then we will purge our steam ones. To purge our steam ones, we will need to first prepare the three clothes that we need in our working station. Starting with each on every steam one. Then one for wiping, dripping tray and also your bench, your working station. Then we'll need also one cloth which we'll need to clean up our pot filters whenever we remove the coffee grains so that they stay clean. So we'll purge our steam ones. We'll purge our steam ones for 10 seconds. This will help in removing the stuck 
water in the steam ones and also so that you can have the fresh steam that's being boiled in the morning. This is very important. You need to restock and check what you need on your shift. So we we'll start with the cups. You need to ensure that like, you have all the cups ready, clean and warm for serving coffee. And also ensure like you turn on your cup warmer of the coffee machine so that you can serve a perfect cup of coffee. If you serve a coffee on a cold cup, you will lose the temperatures. Ensure at all times like your cups are warm so that you can give a great temperature for your desired coffee. So we'll also back up our cups. After backing up our cups and ensuring like we have the cups that we need to serve our coffees then we need to check the options for the milks also any other backup that we need on our ship then we will need to dial in our espresso as a morning barista you are the one to calibrate these machines so i will just link to you my video on how you can dial in an espresso this will help you have a good workflow and a successful morning shift thank you so much for watching